Good morning, everybody. Solar Eclipse Saturday. It's about 9.30 in the morning right now in Utah. And uh, it's finally warming up. It was like 25 degrees here last night. 48 was as low as it got in the, uh, in the wagon. So, not supposed to take pictures of the sun. I'm gonna take them anyways. I took one earlier, it didn't melt my camera, so. All right, guys. Not a very uh, cloud in the sky, really, just these little whispery things. So we should have a very nice view of the solar eclipse here in about 40-ish minutes. So, all right, guys, we're going to see what we can show you. Well, guys, we're at like 15%. I'm trying to take pictures through my sunglasses for y'all. Um, right now, when I look at the sun through the sunglasses, I can see the uh, the moon coming over across the sun. It's still too bright uh, in the pictures, so we're gonna keep trying for you guys. Yeah. Well, guys, it's definitely getting darker. Uh, camera's not really picking up a, sh a shot through the sunglasses. We're about halfway, I'm guessing right now. Um, when I when I look at the sun, my sunglasses, I can see it, um, and it really isn't bothering my eyes. These are pretty good sunglasses. Hopefully, we can at least get a shot of the uh, ring of fire, because without that, it'd be a wash, right? But yeah, it's kind of cool. It's getting a little eerie feeling, you know. It's the sun's up and it's getting darker. It's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, snow-covered mountains over there. I'm in Utah. Thinking maybe tomorrow we'll leave here and head towards Bryce Canyon. I don't want to go there on a Sunday. Too many people. So we'll try to go there on Monday. But all right, we'll see if we can show you any of this uh, eclipse. All right, guys, we're pretty uh, pretty close. Again, the camera isn't picking it up yet. Um, I'm gonna say about 80%. It's cold. It's it's really dropping temp quick. And if I, I you can't pick it up on the camera, but your shadow is kind of blurry. It's kind of kind of cool. I was trying to show it there, and, but it just it doesn't show it on the ground with the camera. But it's Kind of neat. It's kind of like you can see through your shadow. Kind of cool. But we're getting closer. Come on, ring of fire. Well, we are in totality. Ring of fire. I can see it. You guys can't. Well, this really turned out to be a sucky video. But looking up at that is just cool as heck. I wish you guys could see it. Where is it? Where'd it go? Where'd the sun go? I can see it in the mirror. But I don't think you guys can see it. Well, sorry guys. Wish you could see that. It's really cool. Sorry about that photo work. I was 
trying to zoom in on there, see if you guys could get a little picture of the ring. Looks like maybe it did a little bit. Can't tell, but uh, didn't get as dark as I thought it was going to. I mean, it's definitely darker. The sky is all blue as heck all around because it's still shining, shining up there, but didn't get as dark. I thought it was going to be quite a bit darker. But we'll be leaving totality here shortly. Maybe we'll figure out something to show you today. Hey guys. Warmed up very nicely after the uh, <clears throat> solar eclipse ended. Sorry, that was a bust. I didn't think about getting a filter. You know, just didn't think of it. So unfortunately, yeah, kind of sucked. So I thought maybe <clears throat> I would talk today about living in the Sorrento. It is very tight with the bed, pla bed platform only 16 inches from the roof and a three inch mattress. But you know what? I've really found that I'm really comfortable in it. The Iceco 68 liter fridge is amazing. If you run it on 110 with your inverter running, you're going to run basically half your power down every night. If you run on the 12 volt, it only runs down maybe 15% overnight. And by, you know, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm already up almost back to full. Now, there is one thing I'm going to try tonight. Because it's been pretty cold up here. Like I said, last night I got down to, I think, 25. Um, 48 inside the Sorrento. Which is fine. But, if I turn the inverter on and run it at 110, I'm curious how much heat that inverter is going to put out. So I might do it just for a test. Now on top of that, the car is set up really nice. I have to find a way to put things different places. You know, like I said before, you move into a new house, whatever, you got to figure out where to put put things, right? Excuse me there, I need <clears throat> something to wet my whistle. Man, it's gorgeous here. So nice being out in the woods, the mountains. Yeah. It's what you want. Working six days a week just to pay bills. I don't know. But everything's going good. The uh, bed platform, you know, I thought it was going to be such a problem being that tight. But now it's just like, man, I'm so comfy. The Blue Eddy, again, I will say this. If you're looking for a Blue Eddy, I would go with the AC200 Max. The AC200P is fine. It's working great for me. I have 300, uh, three 100-watt solar panels on the roof, and it's charging. On 12-volt, like I said, I'm good. Didn't need that extra foldable panel but I would go with the uh, max bigger battery and it doesn't have the um, 
Why did I just go tongue-tied? Well, it doesn't have the uh, wattage as the uh, AC200P does. But with three 100-watt Renergy solar panels, I'm getting enough watts. Well, volts. Volts to get in and then watts. And just to let you know, when the solar eclipse happened, I was getting three watts was all I was getting. Um, it went from 200 to three. So, yeah, the sun was pretty much gone. But it was a cool nay. Cool nay? What the heck am I saying? It was a cool day. Really need to see that. Really wished it would have been a little more intense. I know I saw one as a child um, in the 70s, maybe early 80s. Can't remember. I thought that was pretty cool. But it was pretty cool to see it. Unfortunately, you guys couldn't. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out.